two miles and two furlongs this time and the larger obstacles as well so it's a two mile two furlong chase uh, let's take a look at the list church gaze at the top for alex cherry royal promise greg beck with fondamort for david Hill. i'm sure that one was around last year enzo zancaro for darren thompson nonanito classic david robertson john rambo Derek hinton the pocket rocket and the witch king for Joshua Sutherland, Damister and Talking Guitar Blues, Martin Lidham, Macho Man and Ipanema Plod, or well, Macho Man's for Matt Cooper, Ipanema Plod is for Alex Cherry, Dream of Glory is David Hoody, Late Dominico for Darren Thompson, Floran, David Robertson, Bonash, Matt Cooper, a Sterling Dash, and Draw a Picture for Stu Gray. Look, the Animal Rising lot are not around, because I'm sure we've got one or two horses running in two races on the trot here, they'll be having a fit and chaining themselves to things. They're often racing, and it's Nonanito Classic who leads into the first, and get over that one nicely, and pulling for his head the grey Sterling Dash on the inside. Comes through to challenge for the lead, but it's Nonanito Classic at the second in front. And they all safely negotiate the second of the 14 fences that they've got to take today. And not an Ito classic for David Rawson, just about in front from a Sterling Dash in second. A really good jump by the Grey on the inside there. So Stu Gray's Grey takes it up. A Sterling Dash, not an Ito classic is in second. Dream of Glory third. Then Enzo Zancaro as they get over the fourth. Looking towards the back, talking guitar blues. He's probably just about the back. Margaret Alex Cherry's pair are also near the back as well. They pass the winning post then, and now they head off for a complete circuit of this. Warwick track and a Sterling Dash is in the lead by about a neck to Nonanito Classic in second, then Dream of Glory is back in third, Enzo Zancaro is fourth, then the Pocket Rocket and the Witch King with Royal Promise and Draw a Picture, then Damister is after that one with Floran and Lake Dominico, the Grey John Rambo is next with Church Gaze and its inside and Bonach and its outside, and then the back three Ipanema Plod. Talking Guitar Blues in a gap of a couple of lengths to Macho Man, who's going to try and go past the entire field as they get to the fifth. They're all skipping over the fifth, all jumping well. And a Nonanito Classic has got the lead now from a Sterling Dash in second. In Fondmort back in third. In Dream of Glory's fourth. Enzo Zankar after that one. And the Witch King and the Pocket Rocket draw a picture. Is the one widest on the track who's trying to make a bit of a forward move only four wide though not going to be losing any ground in particular but it's not an Anito classic who's got the clear lead of two lengths to the grey sterling dash in second then the david hooley pair von morton dream glory with enzo zancaro as they get over the sixth bit of a slow jump by damister as it was making a forward move royal promise is trying to get into it macho man is struggling out the back of his six lengths adrift as they get over the seventh which is a ditch and it's not an Ito classic and a sterling dash then a gap of two lengths to von Mort in third and enzo zancaro dream of glory is next church gaze is making a forward move damister is getting going again and they get over fence number eight with macho man getting gradually further adrift but it's not an Ito classic who's two lengths clear of a sterling dash and the witch king this is number nine as they get over that one damister was slow again and his chances of being hampered by some slow jumping but not an Ito classic He's in front, stable mate. Floran has now come through to challenge for second. A Sterling Dash is still there on the inside and jumping well again. Now jumps up alongside the leader. It's not an Ito Classic. A Sterling Dash, these two have been having a battle all the way around. Lake Dominico is back in third. Draw a picture is now moved into fourth. Then the Witch King, Fonmort, is next. And then Damister trying to get back into it again. Floran is now the one really wide as they sweep towards home. And it's not an Ito Classic who's in front from a Sterling Dash. This is the final ditch of fourth. Oh, there's a crashing full there, Lake Dominico's gone, Lake Dominico's out of it, it's not an Ito classic in the lead, from Fondmort in second, Dream of Glory is third, Church Gates is running around to fourth, this is the third last, over it they go and it's not an Ito classic who's clear, here comes Draw a Picture trying to throw down a challenge, Enzo Zancaro's trying to fight back, but it's still not an Ito classic over the second last, lands in the lead, gets away from it well as a mistake by Dream of Glory, but it's not an Ito classic, into the final furlong, one more fence to take, not an Ito classic, skips over it, but he makes a mistake, Take. He comes away from it. He's still going to one in the lead. Enzo Zancaro and Fonmort are getting closer. Fonmort with a hurdling speed. He's beginning to get up. And it's Fonmort who's going to take it. Fonmort wins it. Not Anito Classic. The Witch King. Enzo Zancaro in the pocket rocket. And all the way back to Macho Man. 
He got round in his own time, but Fon Moore, I'm pretty sure that was a top notch hurdler last season for David Hooley, the hurdling speed. Maybe he would have won it the race anyway, but that mistake at the last for Nonanito Classic could well have cost him the race. Led or disputed the lead all the way around that one and then just ran through the final fence. Uh, Fon Moore takes it forward, David Hooley, Nonanito Classic, David Robertson second, Enzo Zancaro, Darren Thompson third, the Witch King and the Pocket Rocket for Joshua Sutherland were fourth and fifth. <laughs>